Jadron here, what's going on guys? So I'm at the Fulton Steamboat Inn and I am going to send a drone up to get a picture of this building. It's in the shape of a large steamboat uh, and the interior of this building is something you're definitely going to want to see so uh, stay with me. walk in here and as soon as we walk in here we have a gift shop to the right we also have the restaurant to the left which we're going to skip the gift shop and just peek in here really nice it's uh this was built in 89 i think the lady said and it seems to be really well kept it's definitely dated um further back like it's made to look older then you have your front desk here. And there is a tavern over here. And again, you can see all the older furniture and older lamps. But we will uh, walk down to the pool. We'll show you the pool. And again, you have like old style lamps on the wall. Crystal lights. as my wife is murmuring behind me, if you could hear her, it is meant to look like an old steamboat, which I don't know anything about steamboats. Little knockers on the doors are like uh, the things you would steer boats with. It's nautical themed, as we are getting help from the wife. And again, we have like crystal, and then we have tin, um, tin rooftops. Hello. And in order to get in the pool, we need a key. Set our bag there. This pool is uh, pretty awesome. We have a hot tub over here. We have a pool with like little koi fish on the bottom of the pool and tile. Nice area to sit. All right guys, we are going to take you in uh, on the second floor into our room. All right, so we are at our room here. This is a double queen. I'm going to show you the bathroom. And again, everything is dated and um, I don't know, probably early 1900s. All right, a little bit of history. Um, Robert Fulton uh, is credited to be the creator of the steamboat and the date era, I was close. It's probably more early 1800s to early 1900s. Um, and there's a little bit of history. I'll do a pan on this. I'm not going to read it out loud to you. If you want to read this, by all means, pause this. I'm moving slowly. And we are going down the page here. That's a little bit of history, guys. Let's continue the walkthrough. Yes. Nice uh, marble type countertops. Nice bathroom. This is a little bit more modern where we kind of have marble. But again, the head, you can see the head of that shower even set back a little bit we're gonna back out of here and that's neat we have skeleton keys on the wall and a shadow box and again we have like almost claw feet type furniture old style lamp old style chairs really really nice decor we do have a flat screen they didn't hook us up with a tube tv although that would have been pretty neat um but alright guys, I'm Jay Drone. If you haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe button. I'm going to go down the hall and just show you the overlook to the pool. And that'll be the end of this review. So here, we're literally just walking out of my room. And we're going to go down here. And you will see the pool, which I've already shown you. It's kind of an overlook. And from, I think it's like 10 to midnight, they have adult swim only. But I mean, it's daytime now. It's probably like only 2 o'clock. Nobody in the pool. So that's actually where I'm going. All right, guys, later. All right, guys, so I'm outside of the building, and they actually have a decent property here. Um, little duck pond, it says there's koi fish. I don't see no koi fish, but the water's a little murky and the sun's not out. And they have music piped in all the way out here. It's a little gazebo here with a playground behind it. And it looks like there's a little fire pit down here. This is a really nice property. Um, and this is uh, in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, or just outside of Lancaster. So I'm uh, definitely stoked about it. And the price wasn't bad. The price wasn't bad at all. 
definitely a little fire pit come out here and burn some wood look like they provide the wood for you too you know you don't have to buy it like a lot of other resorts really nice spot here tons of ducks and they I, I would assume they're hand fed because they keep following us um, so they're probably friendly I don't have anything to give them to test that theory but 